Sunday morning and this is take two of my state park series to um, Percha Dam, Caballo Lake, and Elephant Butte Lake. So I am on the highway, just got on the highway. It's going to take two and a half hours to get there. It is 8.11 right now. So let's do this. <laughs> um, last week I was unable to go just because it had snowed really bad the whole day and night before and I don't know I just got a bad vibe with bad feelings so one and a half hours into my drive I turned my ass around which I feel is good you know it's always good to listen to your intuition um yeah always listen to your gut like you never know so I'm happy that I did it is really smoky out here this morning I wonder why it's like really really smoky um but yeah so two and a half hours to get there it's eight o'clock so we'll see you in a bit okay tell me I'm not the only one who does this but I find a speeding buddy you know somebody who's going faster than me but somebody who I can keep up with you know that way they're able to like spot the cop first or whatnot so a speeding buddy just came by me so I'm happy that I got a speeding buddy. Well that was short lived. My speeding buddy just exited. Sad. Hopefully another one comes by. Alright we are one hour in and we have about 80 miles to go. This is about the time where I turned around last time. So I'm sad. I had two speeding buddies and they just got off at T or C. I had them for quite a while. Um, we have about 20 more miles until we reach our exit. So we're super close and it is 940. All right, Thicklets, we made it to Percha Dam State Park. Let's go explore. This is the only trail that I am seeing in the area. So we're just going to walk it for a little bit. I don't know if it takes me to the dam because the dam was further back, but see where it leads us. There's the dam way over there. Obviously there's no water because it's dead ass winter in February. There's a lot of shells on these rocks. A lot, a lot of shells. I'm walking to the dam on this, on the little road. Probably could walk through the bush through there, which I may cut down into actually. Can I? I think I can. But the dam is just not far, just beside these other trees here. Does anybody else go to walk through tall grass moves like this? I just think there's going to be a snake or some type of a weird animal.
I saw the dam. It was neat. I'd love to see it when it's roaring. Um, I was able to get up close and personal to it. There's actually a sign above it that says like, if you hear the sirens, like evacuate, get out of the way immediately. I could just imagine being here with those sirens. Anyway, I'm walking back to the car and next stop is gonna be Cabayo Lake, which I don't think it's far from here. I think it's like 10 to 15 minutes from here. Anyway, this area by Percha Dam is like just farmland essentially. I saw there is a, a factory where they process like the chili. So that's really cool. We are really close to Hatch. All right, Thick Lids, we made it to Caballo Lake State Park. Um, I am so glad that I followed the signs on the road and not my Google GPS because it was trying to take me something way down the road. And whenever I asked the, the lady like, hey, is there like another area down the road? She's like, no, we keep on trying to get Google to change, but they have not changed yet. So I'm glad that I actually read the signs and did not followed Google. This reminds me a lot of um, Leesburg Dam State Park, like just the terrain. I mean, it makes sense because we're only like maybe 40 miles from that area. So I have no idea where I'm headed. Kind of bushwhacked a little bit there. Now I am on this abandoned road. I see the lake right in front of me. But I don't see no beach access or anything. I see an overlook spot over there. I don't know. We're just exploring people. Let's hope I don't get in trouble. This is Caballo Lake. Um, I see that there's some people down there, so I'm gonna try to see if I could drive down there and actually get close to the water. drove down to the water and this is it looks like a really cool place I'm not sure if like um, kayaking or paddle boarding is allowed I have to do that research but this looks like it'd be the perfect place for it um, oh my god I think I just saw an eagle so like right before I started recording I think I saw an eagle guys and I took a video with my phone so we'll have to see if it is one or not. But if so, that's super cool because I've never seen an eagle in New Mexico. But this is Caballo Lake. Right, we 
we made it to Elephant Butte State Park. This is the last stop on our journey today. So let's go check it out. This is Elephant Butte. Of course, this is not all of it. This is just a little portion of it. I just stopped off this side of this main road here to get, you know, a beautiful shot looking above. It's very pretty. So a little um, fun or not so fun fact about Elephant View is I've been here quite a few times before in the past with family. We've camped here. Um, had amazing times, but one of those times, it was just a few years ago, I at that time had an Altima, a Nissan, a Nissan Altima, and some of the roads here are dirt roads, and it's kind of like, you know, enter at your own risk, and the sand is obviously very, very loose, and I got my Altima stuck, like stuck bad. Um, somebody was gracious enough to get me out but not without damage um my car got some major damage from trying to pull it out and i'm thankful that i was able to drive back home i made it back home i had to do a whole insurance claim <laughs> uh it ended up costing like six thousand dollars to get fixed what i had damaged but so ever since that trip, I haven't been back here, so this is my first time back, and you best believe I'm not about to go down any crazy-ass dirt roads. I learned my lesson. Did I not just say I was not going to go on a dirt road? literally said I wasn't going a dirt road and what did I do I went on a fucking dirt road but I could tell that it was nice and compact my car should not get stuck here it will not get stuck here I'm manifesting it it's not going to there's some big ass white birds in the water like what are those We made it. It is beautiful and I could not ask for a better day. <sighs> I wish I would have brought my bathing suit. God damn it. I wish I would have brought my bathing suit and a tube. Um, do you hear that? There's legit fish jumping in the water right behind me. <laughs> um, I think I will at least like take off my shoes and stick my feet in just to get a feel of the water. look like um like seagulls of some sort and then there's some that i swear look like a pelican of of some kind because they're much bigger you know they got the much bigger beak almost swan like how they look in the water I guess I'll be heading home soon. I'm just laying in the sand, enjoying just everything, absorbing it all because I don't know when the next time I'll be back. All right, thick lips. I'm back in the car and we are heading home. Oh shit. Um, 
GPS says it'll take about two hours to get to Albuquerque. So we'll see how long it actually takes. But this was really fun. Again, thank you so much for watching and for supporting. I appreciate um, all the love that you always give me. So we will see you on the next trip. Bye.